Hi, I'm Jeff, one of the owners at Planning Pod, and we're going to take a look at how to get around our application. When you first log into Planning Pod, you will find yourself on the dashboard page. And you can see that right there in the top navigation bar. And here in the dashboard, you will see an overview of what is coming up regarding your events, to dos, calendar items, and contact activities. And as you scroll down, you will see all those items. And on some of those items, there are blue links where you can go directly to that item. And the to-dos area here, you can also use the checkbox feature to mark things as complete or change the date or take actions for those to-dos. The dashboard automatically defaults to the today view, but you can change that to view more items upcoming over the next seven days, two weeks, or 30 days. So we're gonna select seven days and see what we've got going on regarding all of our tasks and calendar items and other things for the next seven days. The quick launch tool over here in the top right lets you go into a tool inside of one of your events. So you just simply find the event, select it, find the tool, select that, click on the go button, and that immediately takes you to that particular tool inside one of your events. We're gonna go back to the dashboard. And as you can see along the top here is our main navigation bar. Um, so you can navigate to your events, you can view your calendar, um, you can go into the contacts area, you can create and view your proposals and invoices, you can look at your contracts, your finances, uh, your templates, which we will cover in a little bit, as well as reports coming out of your account. And the very top bar contains the settings area. Uh, the tutorials area that has videos for every feature in our application, as well as the help section, which takes you to our support center. And if you click on your name here, that will take you to either the subscription area or the ability to sign out. And now we're going to navigate to the events area where you will probably be spending a majority of your time. In the far left hand column are the event groups where you can create your own event groups and then categorize your events into groups. And to create those groups, you just simply click on the add button. Throughout your account, you will see a red button in the top left corner, and that is the major action button for each section. Here is to add an event. And next to that is a drop down menu um, for other actions. Here it is for sorting your events. Um, and this bar here lets you filter your events so you can type in the name of an event and you can find it that way. In many places in our system, you simply click on the item to open it. So I'm going to click on the event name, which opens up the event and lets me edit or archive or delete the event, as well as it opened up links to all the event tools inside of the event right here. A handy feature if you want to see a snapshot of what's going on inside of each tool is the view event snapshot link, which just gives you a summary of what's happening inside of each of your event tools. And here you can view more event information like who you've assigned to the event, your vendor list, as well as overall PDFs for the event. And like I said before here, all the event tools, I'm going to click on the budget tool to go into the budget for this particular event. And inside of each event here in the left column, you will see the tools for that particular event. So to go to another tool, you just simply click on that item. Here again is our main action button, which is for the budget, adding a budget item. And here's our drop down menu. And for the budget, it's for managing categories, um, using templates as well as PDFs. And like I had indicated earlier, if you need more details about a particular item, you simply click on the item and it pulls open an overview page on the right hand column for that item. And again, at the top of that item, you will find buttons for things like edit or deleting that item. Another helpful feature of our system are these checkboxes. And when you click on a checkbox for one or more items, you can take an action in bulk for those items. For example, I can click on all those items and then it pulls up an action menu over here to move those items to a category, remove them from a category, attach vendors to those items and whatnot. 
And like I had discussed before, if you want to go to another tool inside of the event, you just click on it. So I'm gonna click on the floor plans tool and that will take me into a floor plan that I've already built for this event. If you want to switch to another event, you just click on the switch event button up here in the left corner. It takes you to your event list where you can click on an event or you can start typing in the name of the event in the search field here and then select the event and then select one of the tools inside of the event. I'm gonna click on the files tool for this event. And if you're ever wondering what event you're in, our system will tell you that right here in the breadcrumb area. Let's navigate on over to the contacts area now, and I can show you a few more things about our application. And here in the contacts area, again, you have the ability to create contact groups so that you can classify your contacts into groups. Uh, the main action button here is for adding a new contact. And the, in the drop down menu, you can uh, do things like uh, import or export your contacts to a CSV file. And like some of the other areas I have showed you, you simply click on the item. Here you click on the contact in order to view the overview details for that contact. Um, and again, you've got some action buttons here at the top for converting them to a client or deleting them. And here in the far right column, um, the blue links let you do things like uh, edit the contact, manage their access to your account, add contact activities, or add files to this particular contact. And again, here we see the check boxes, which lets us take bulk actions for one or more items. I'm gonna move these two contacts to our decor and floral group. And so once the system's done that, I'll click on that group and you can see those two contacts have been added to that group. We will go into more details about a lot of these other sections and other videos, but I do want to show you what's going on in the templates area. Um, the templates area lets you build reusable templates for a variety of tools in the system, including budgets, proposals, itineraries, and to-dos. Here I've created a number of to-do list templates that I can pull into my events. Um, when I go into the template here, here are my to-do list items. And wherever you see these, this icon with three lines, you can drag and drop uh, list items so that you can reorder them. So I'm simply gonna drag that back to where it was, but that allows you to reorder items in a list. So now I'm gonna take a look at the global settings. So I'm gonna click on the settings tab, and this lets you adjust settings inside of your account for a variety of things. Uh, first and foremost, the color theme and font options of your account. So you can change the highlight color of your accounts, um, as well as the display font of your account. I'm going to stick with the sans serif font and the lime green color. This uh, settings area also lets you adjust the email for receiving notification emails. You can change the currency symbol, the date time format and time zone. The PDF layout options area lets you adjust the layout settings for the PDFs that come out of your account. Uh, the company logo area is where you can upload your logo that will display in your dashboard and also in your PDF headers. And there's other settings here too for your account. The tutorials area contains videos that you can view on using every tool and feature inside of our system. You just click on the blue arrow there, it'll pull up the video and uh, you can learn more about all of our tools here. And finally, the help section takes you to our support center where you can type in questions. If you've got questions about how to use a particular tool, the support center will give you suggestions on uh, articles that will help you learn more about that tool. And if you don't see what you need there, you can simply click on the email us button in the right column here to send us an email that will turn into a support ticket. And we reply to emails every day of the week. And you can also reach us by emailing us at support at planningpod.com or you can call us Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mountain Time at 877-266-3885. Thanks so much and make sure to watch some of the other videos to learn more about how to use our application.